There is a legendary beast. Not all will survive. We woke up to yet another perfect morning on the river. The kind of morning that makes you want the trip to never end. I listened to the birds. I thought about all the fun we'd had over the last week. And while I was ready to go home and see the family, There's a part of me that just wants to stay out here forever.
What a morning. Finally able to get a little paddling in the fog, the mist on the water. Hot apple cider, did a little fishing. Probably about four more miles left. Alan doesn't want it to end, I don't want it to end. But there's breakfast waiting, and then Brooks Falls. Big finale to the trip, it's always a fun rapid to end the trip on. And significantly, historically, it has a 25% capsize rate with the crews that we come down through here. So today, I think we can all make it through and uh, significantly improve these numbers. You pulling up here with a fish or something? <laughs> that was another dry run. Oh, another, me too. I didn't even have a bite. I'm still four fish ahead of the fish master himself, Dirt Dauber. I caught all those that I lost before I got them in the boat. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> The sun was warm on our shoulders as we drifted into Hinton. And although we were all looking forward to the confluence with the new river, marking the end of our through paddle at the Greenbrier, and then those pancakes in Hinton, there were still a few miles and several rapids of the Greenbrier to enjoy. And we had a perfect morning to do it. And then after breakfast, we would be heading several miles down the new to end the trip just below Brooks Falls. And Brooks Falls is a big river-wide ledge that drops several feet. It's a big rapid with big water. And the main line requires a must-make move to skirt a big hole with the high water it would be even bigger. This rapid has been on the guy's mind since we put in in Durban. They've been talking about it for months before we made the trip. And each one of them knows it's all going to come down to a solo effort in a rapid with a history of ending trips with a swimmer bell. If they were nervous, they didn't show it. Huh? Fun rapid.
right, folks, bittersweet sliding into Hinton here. Um, probably got a third of a mile or so to the confluence. Um, pretty much just busy city now, but um, awesome, awesome trip. We are looking forward to breakfast. We didn't eat much this morning, just like a granola bar kind of breakfast. Um, so we're hoping Kirk's is open. We heard someone else has bought the establishment and opened it up. So would love if they were serving breakfast um, so we could eat out over the river there. If not, we'll do something else. But yeah, let me turn you around. Put you on the head. Hinton, West Virginia. All but done now. Over the last couple days, the muddy water had shut off the fishing. Both Dirt Dauber and I were looking forward to the confluence where we hoped the new river would be running clear. The news brown too, Dirt Dauber. But arriving at the confluence, we found the new river to be even muddier. It seemed the fishing trip was over. I think that's it right there. And so we began to put aside thoughts of catching more fish. And we turned our focus now to running Brooks Falls. Winding through the maze of islands at the confluence, we made our way to the new riverside. All right, so we gotta get on our horse here a little bit. Would you get across? From there, we would ferry the yeah. entire new river, landing on the left bank at the base of Kirk's restaurant. And hopefully, there'd be some pancakes waiting on us. Stay as high as you can. We gotta have to ferry all the way to the upstream side of that building. Austin went really high. I like it. <laughs> he ain't gonna miss it. And as we touched our boats on the shore below Kirk's, I couldn't help but notice that a part of me felt like this was home away from home. A familiar place. And hopefully, I would get to see a familiar face. Made it to Kirk's. Let's see if they're serving breakfast. There it is, folks. Kirk's Restaurant. Home away from home in West Virginia, here in Hinton. Tonight, hamburger steak or ribs? That one's for you, Kevin. <laughs> All right, folks, we did not eat breakfast. In anticipation of dining here, like kings, at Kirk's. So I've got the pancakes breakfast with some sausage, some eggs, sun on my shoulders, sweet tea. It doesn't get any better. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a victory pancake. Okay folks, here we are. Another lesson in property accountability. You never leave your valuable sensitive items behind for everyone to see. Do, do we want to say anything about property accountability, dear Robert? Because yeah. he's about to lose his camera like he lost a fish earlier. Hmm. Yeah. That's sad. Real sad. Good times. Yeah. Yeah.
How you been? How are you guys? Good. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. I might stink. Sorry about it. You <laughs> hey, I'm Austin. My buddy hey, Austin. Austin. Great to meet you. you. Great How to finally meet you. you. Four. 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 One guy just up. He just went around the corner. You got your boat. Oh, we got a boat. Oh yeah. Well, good. I I I think about you quite a bit. In fact, I go through some old stuff sometimes. I run across some of those pictures. Right on. I would likewise. I was looking the other night. What's his name? Turn it over to Brian. Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just talking about it this morning. In fact, let me call him. What's going on, big dog? So I'm over here at a restaurant, and I found this uh, young man over here. Uh, name was Proctor or something. Wanted to say hey. Well, you said Proctor was pulling up when you were on your little video. Yep. Yeah. How are you? I'm still kicking. How about you, Proctor? Well, that's, that's what I'm doing, is just kicking. I got, <laughs> it's nice to see you guys and know you're all still around. Oh, yeah. We miss you, man. We, we, you know, we always appreciated your help. Yeah, well, we were just talking about you. I, I, was, I was looking through some stuff the other day, and I found that old picture of your kayak going through uh, Brooks Falls upside down. <laughs> I keep it on my phone. That way, every, every now and again, you know, it just pops up. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, there okay. it is. We met Proctor. Was well, able to say hello. Well, Pete, this is good to hear. From yeah, you. It's, he is Great. the man. I mean, I, I came by earlier. Yeah, they we said we just missed you. We were a little late getting here, about yeah. thirty minutes. So, yeah. I'm glad you're able to come back. And yeah. always nice to catch up with good folks like Proctor. Saved our bacon two trips in a row back in the day. And uh, coming up here, I was uh, so happy to get a hold of and run into you, man. We're good. You know, I'm actually just want to tell you this. I'm four fish ahead of him on the fish count for the week. But I mean, not that that means anything. Not done yet. Not done yet. I had been making fun of and picking on Dirt Dauber all week for winning in the fishing competition. And right here after breakfast on the last day, I was winning all the competitions. First, the biggest, the smallest, and the most. Now it's the biggest but you know what they say, he who laughs last, laughs forever. best. Maybe it's better this way. I think we're building to something big. I think we're building to something big. Something oh big. Goodness, folks, Dirt Dauber has just caught the biggest fish of a trip. Hold that thing up. Look at this, everybody. What in the world? Crushing it. Yeah, baby. I guess Dirt Dauber wins. <laughs> All right, folks, lunch is over. Awesome stop at Kirk's. And uh, sun is still shining. Mountains are calling and Brooks Falls is waiting. Dirt Dauber had just snagged the biggest fish of his life. The sun was warm and our bellies were full. And now we get to explore a section of a river they've never seen before. The views are humongous, the water's bigger, and we're one step closer to the beast.
Look at him go! Woo! That was a big one. Huh? No, they didn't. Look who we have, folks. It's world famous Wes. That's what I'm talking about. We heard a honking and a yelling from the bank, and here we go. How was your class? Uh, it starts this evening. It starts this evening. Yeah. Fantastic. Man, let me get out and say hey. Wes Robinson, everybody. Good to meet you. I've seen, uh, we've been talking on Facebook forever. Yeah. And uh, he's a fan of the channels on the on the you know the chats and everything so it's awesome to meet you good to meet you it's always good to meet folks in faraway places but uh he's up here for a whitewater class on the Greenbrier up near alderson, alderson. Yeah. yeah so wes had brought us some pepperoni rolls they look amazing um i gave them back to him he's going to go down to brooks and watch us come through and then i'm gonna link back up with him there at the bottom he'll be able to watch and hopefully film the carnage from the deck yeah um in case one of us fine gentlemen probably one of them um <laughs> hopefully not me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So he's gonna film us. We'll meet him down again at the bottom and uh sounds like a plan. See you in just a bit. Yeah, sounds good. Good to meet you. You we'll too. See you in a bit. We're gonna stop on the front of the point of the rock. Okay. And get out in case the guys want to scout it or yeah. and for sure Austin's gonna get his drone going. So cool. I'll link up with you. Cool. You have a throw rope with you? No. <laughs> Coming into Brooks Falls, Wes is down there waiting. The point of that mountain right there, you'll see that, uh, you may not be able to see it on camera, but there's some slab rocks. Those, uh, you can see the tiny person standing there. Um, it's a big thing. We're gonna post up, let Austin get out and get his drone ready. I think we're gonna scout it and then uh, send it. So next stop, Brooks Falls. No, we feel great. Yeah. 
You don't want to hit this white though. That'll roll your boat. You don't want to hit this white though. That'll roll your boat. That'll roll your boat. Yeah. Is to lift the right side of your boat up, and the left side is going to go under. Is to lift the right side of your boat up, and the left side is going to go under. And the left side is going to go under. You want to be just right like the left cheek going over the beginning of the rooster tail, angling at like 11 o'clock. <laughs> angling 11 o'clock? Oh yeah. No, no, no. You're coming in straight, not coming at an angle. You're coming in straight, but just right over the top of that rooster tail. All right, so we got the plan. Austin's gonna drone, Dirt Dopper's gonna stay with Austin, and then they're gonna run a secondary line out a little further. Um, that hole is stomping today. I've never seen it that high. And uh, so the safe bet for a couple of the guys, we're just gonna, they're gonna run one of the other lines in the middle. Alan is gonna bite off the big, dog, the big dog line with me. We're just gonna stay up against that wall and ride the rooster tail right on through, and it shouldn't be anything but a thing. And uh, now it's time to go make it happen. The hole is big. The hole is kicking. Um, you do not want to be in the hole, so that's the, that's the name of the game. Here's to good lines and a lot of fun. You want to go right behind me or in front of me? Okay. You feel good? Let's do it. You ready? ready? That is a legendary beast. Not all will survive.
even though Brian and I had warned him about being too close to the rock. Alan made his approach about two feet too far left of the rooster tail. It was an understandable mistake. That hole was big, and it was a keeper hole today, and there's no telling how long you might stay in there. Too far to the left, and the curler flips you. Too far to the right, and you stay in that hole for a long time. It's easy to focus on the dangerous aspects of the rapid and to try to hedge your bets against it. But the best way through a rapid is to focus on the line and nail it. Kudos to Alan for firing up the big drop at high water. It's all part of the learning curve, and I'm sure he'll get it next time. Now I have to finish wrangling his boat to shore, secure it, and then head back upstream where I would position myself below the ledge in the middle of the river to signal Austin and Dirt Dauber the best place to try to get through this rapid. Not feeling 100% sure that they could nail the line, we all decided the best decision was for them to take a less consequential and less precise line in the middle of the river. The only problem is that it's almost impossible to see which way to go from the top. No? Huh? Good! 
Hey, just, just hang out. You're all fine now. Just chase his boat in. <laughs> Y'all were doing so good. <laughs> so close. So close. That's a big one, ain't it? Good job, guys. <laughs> 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 my hand hit the bottom. <laughs> That's why we wear a helmet. Well, well, well. We're at 25% success rate today. <laughs> <laughs> that rooster tail ate Alan. <laughs> oh man. I just rushed about off and hit the rooster tail and said, oh yeah. Lift him right away. Brooks Falls <laughs> was hungry! <laughs> hungry! This one's gonna be renamed Hungry Hungry Hippo. <laughs> <laughs> almost had you almost had you were looking good through there, brother. Oh, I wanted well, it bad. Now too. we have a score to settle. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Brian, I know you're smiling now. <laughs> what a way to end the trip. Hey, still uh, better than an orchestra concert. Still better than an orchestra concert. Woo! Now I've heard of feet out to the takeout, but this is a little hey, different take. I'm owning the swim. <laughs> I love it. Make the swim my swim. Y'all look so good in there. Until right at the... Until maybe, we didn't look good. Until <laughs> right at like five more feet and you were good. Oh, what a fun trip, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, hold it. Drift in front of your boat. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Good trip. Did you hear this morning about those useless things that Tony bring you to the morning? Yeah. Yeah, well, it got used. It got used. <laughs> I guess I just don't use mine, Alan. Look at the format. Oh, but. I'll show you where you can put your rope. Woo! 170 miles, actually. 169 kayak, one <laughs> swim. <laughs> Perfect. This is my victory pepperoni roll. We had to give the other three back to Wes because these are only for winners. <laughs> Look at him down there. It's going to be a long road home, isn't it, guys? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see. It, actually, which one of you guys wants the back seat to sprawl out? Mm. Three of us on the way home. Mm, so good. So good. Mm. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to keep your feet up when you swim. <laughs> it's time for the victory toast at the bottom of Brooks Falls. Unfortunately, this is going to be a one man toast. Ah, so sweet. A little lonely, but uh, it's good. We won't be lonely in the car while you're standing here by yourself. <laughs> is it three o'clock? <laughs> it is. It's always good to test your equipment, folks. I really appreciate Austin testing my cockpit cover. <laughs> what are friends boys, for? Boys get a little sour after a swim. The adventure continues. We are now on the mission. GPS retrieval. So um, coming in here to Alderson. <clears throat> get to see our little Riverview Cafe. We're gonna head on up and we're gonna get those ribs up there at Stewart's Barbecue in Kevin's honor, so. Oh yeah. Beautiful little town of Alderson. Seems like just yesterday we were here. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, folks. Cold food, warm beer, and ugly women. Uh, sounds like our kind of place. Stewart's Barbecue, we're gonna get those ribs. You ready, Dirt Dauber? Oh yeah. All right, folks, here we are, Stewart's Barbecue on the deck. 
overlooking the good stuff on the Greenbrier River. Hopefully Wes will come down through here. He's taking a whitewater clinic and they're on this stretch of river. We did not see anybody on the way up, so uh, it'd be cool if we saw him come through there. Uh, oh yeah, look at that folks. Yeah, on, that's a, is that a half a rack? My God. <laughs> I'm gonna be eating on this in a week. <laughs> Folks, we're here with the world's best waitress, Jennifer, oh, at Stewart's Barbecue, and she's just gotten my plate, not Alan's. And uh, he's looking a little irritated. Alan, Alan likes his food. Oh yeah, Alan's got his ribs. Oh yeah. Kev dog, it's for you, buddy. Oh yeah. Just looking down the line, I think everyone's pretty much wrapped up. Ribs, check. Oh, look who we got. Bunch of crazy kayakers. Look who it is, folks. We got Wes. We were hoping they'd come by while we're eating. That's right. Oh, oh, my back. Sorry. We were about to head out, and they came right by while we were eating, right when we were finishing up. How was it? Good deal. Whew, it's good times. I think they're happy to see us because I think they need to enlist some help with the boats. So uh, we may be carrying boats up the hill. All right, coming up the hill. They're taking out here, worked out just right. Get a little help, get the boats up. Good times. All right, folks, I've got Wes, as you know, also Wes, Dan and Cliff. They just come off the Ald uh, Alderson. What, what, what is this? Ex Fort uh, Spring to Fort Stewart's. Spring to Stewart's. I guess it's Stewart's. West Virginia Wild Water Association. Good folks out here. How was it, Wes? It was great, man. Right on. <laughs> the brains of the operation and the talent, Tony. <laughs> She'll be instructing tomorrow and stuff. So, looks like some good people up here, folks. West Virginia Wild Water Association. If you're in the area, you need to learn how to white water paddle. Check these guys out. Your destination is on the left. Pulling on into the Bear Creek Lodge. Home for the night. Oh yeah. Back at the Bear Creek Lodge store, looking for a restroom, which is back here. And uh, then a snack, check in, see what's going on. All right, room for the night, Bear Creek Lodge. Hey boy. All right, so everything's squared away. We're heading downstairs for the uh, obligatory victory milkshake. So that sounds wonderful. Oh folks, she's making some magic over there. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh yeah. They got the ice cream, folks. All right, that was uh, nearly the perfect trip. Um, and even though we had 75% Failure rate at Brooks Falls. We're still doing a victory toast. <laughs> Good trip, boys. The trip will be 100% success after tomorrow. But uh, until then, we're going to sip on some really good milkshakes, get a hot shower, maybe watch a little footage and crash. What do y'all say? I do. You. Dirt Dobber's happy. He's got some ice cream. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. He, he treated us. So uh, big thanks to Dirt Dobber. Let me get a close up. Go ahead. I just want y'all to see this face <laughs> as he eats ice cream. It's just a That's good right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Morning, day eight. We're at Bear Creek Lodge here in Cass. And uh, River's right behind us. We just unhooked the trailer. All of our stuff is over there. We'll give us a chance to uh, go retrieve our, uh, our Garmin and uh, Dirt Dobber's Garmin is somewhere on the bank of the river there at camp night number two. First order of business will be securing breakfast. Oh, she's waiting for the order. The world's best waitress, Leona, is taking care of us this morning. And man, look at that. All trip, I've been missing out on blueberry pancakes. I finally ordered them here. Today, they're out of blueberries. Chocolate chip will have to do. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is the kind of meal that makes you motivated to go find a Garmin. How many times do you think this camera is going to be left unattended? Do <laughs> you think it's only going to be three? Because so far it's three. Do you think it'll be four? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, we got all day. We'll see. 
sat. Just this GoPro sitting over here by itself, no one to take care of it, no one to change its batteries. It's sad, it's a really sad story. And this is why this trip scares me so much when I'm planning it and I try to explain to people. There's no bell curve to, you know, most rivers when they come in, they come down a little bit, then they kind of taper off and stay kind of good for a while. This one goes up and down just as fast. There's no water in the river. You can't boat that anymore. And uh, it just keeps getting lower and lower till it's almost just wet gravel. So if you're gonna do the Greenbrier River, be sure that you got water in it. You kind of want two feet up at Durban. We started at 1.85 and uh, had some rain during the week to kind of keep the water up. But as you can see, one week later, no chance, no chance to boat this river. You could, you could make it through that, but that would be You'd probably be 10 minutes of scooching and scraping. It would be miserable. All right, so uh, we're getting in closer. Continue um, on West Virginia 28 South for nine miles. We are about 12 miles away from where we template to being able to get out of the truck and follow a little terrain feature down to the river, cross the river, find the Garmin, come back across the river, walk briskly and coldly up a hill back to the truck, change clothes, go get Alan and drive home. Dirt Dobber, how are you feeling about your chances? I feel good. We all feel pretty good about it. All right, I got it zoomed in, so you can't tell exactly where we are, but we're gonna try to use some uh, train association. We're gonna try to get in there and use just the, the valley to get down so it'll be a little less steep. If that doesn't work, we're gonna, uh, I think it's gonna work. But in any case, we have a road bed going almost exactly which way we wanna go already, so we'll start using that. Make our way down there and see what happens. Good old fashioned bushwhacking. All right, here we go. Bushwhacking in shorts, not preferable. Hopefully there's not too many stickers and briars. I don't think there will be. I mean, in a place called Greenbrier County, uh, I might be messing up, but let's find out. This is what we're looking for, folks. Kind of going to try to use some of this flat terrain in the valleys to get down to the trail. This old logging road seems to be going pretty good direction. At some point we may have to leave it and start heading left. But for now, it's working out. We're gonna go down and find this creek here, fellas, and then we will be in the money. This will take us around the north side of this hill and drop us right across the river from our camp. So, uh, buckle up. Looks like it's about to get fun. It'll clear up. Yeah. Yep. This creek will take us to a Garmin. <laughs> this is wonderful hiking. <laughs> Worked out just like we planned. I get around this corner. I'm sure it'll be rocks and easy walking. Probably like a, a natural trail. I think Alan was a little disappointed he had to stay, but I don't think it's gonna be good No, Alan's gonna be glad he stayed. So today's pro tip of the week, if you need to land nav like this, the guy who's uh, doing the navving oftentimes will have someone out front finding the actual best way through. And the next guy back, kind of keeping a tab on things. It's a lot less to do. And the next guy back from that is the adult supervision. So if we walk ourselves into something really bad, he can at least go back and tell the story. Oh yeah. Whew. Yeah, I'm definitely not upset that I took off my sweatshirt. Oh yeah. 
So we should be coming out into the creek proper. This is one of the drainages into the creek. Let's just hope when we get there, it's like a nice flat stepping stone rocks all the way down to the Garmin. Don't you expect that? <laughs> Sometimes all it takes is a little creek to explore and you feel 10 years old again. So we're just uh, playing hide and go seek with the creek. We'll take it as, as long as it makes sense. Then I'll get, I get clogged up with wood or debris. We'll pop out on this easy walking land like this, which is fantastic. We'll take this for a while and then it'll get all hemmed in and we'll jump back in the creek. So basically whatever works, we're making much better time now as it opens up and gets lower down. So we're getting there. All right, the creek's been wonderful lately. Upright walking pretty quick, pretty good for the feet and uh, making great time. We should be, I think I can see the clearing of the river already. So. We are right around the corner from the trail. Pretty excited. Not super excited about the walk back up, but that's gonna be part of the fun. Pretty in here, folks. Really pretty. Look at that. That's awesome. If you're not afraid to bushwhack, put in a little effort you can see some amazing places and this is one of them this is just gorgeous i just hit some stinging nettle tell austin watch out for the nettle, nettle for it. all over right here austin, that nettle will light you up that stuff right there folks you'll know it if you hit a bunch of that Hurts for a little while. I think I'm looking at the river. The hole in the trees. I think if I come over this one last knob, then we probably got about a hundred yard walk to our left downstream. And we'll be at the, uh, the campsite location. I see the river. This is gonna be a fun memory. But maybe Dirt Dauber buys us lunch, you know, I'm just saying. Ouch. I need zip-offs. Finally, a need for the zip-offs. A day where you're hiking and swimming. <laughs> Ooh, it does. It's slick, Dirt Dauber. Did you bring your snorkel? Alright, we'll have that. <laughs> we are here at the location it should be at. We need to start where his tent, where his hammock was. Don't, don't tell. 
We have the Garmin, but he doesn't know yet. Austin just found it. So this is mine, right? So yours look different than this one? Yeah, mine has a clear front. Okay. Mine has a solid, like the like E-Trek. Does it look like that? That's what mine looks like. <laughs> yeah, boy. Woo. That's a good day in the woods right there, gentlemen. <laughs> he said, that's what mine looks like. Just like that. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> right where your camp was. Yeah, it uh, fell yeah. off your boat when you were driving. I, I yeah. took it out of my pocket and laid it on my boat. Austin walked right up on it. <laughs> that's a good day, right? That's there. a good day. <laughs> that's a yes, real sir. good day. <laughs> now we can have a true Yay. victory ice cream. <laughs> we're gonna go get Alan. I don't even care if you won the fish company. So why don't we go get Alan and go sit down and cast for half a second, eat a bowl of ice cream. And then go home. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. The water feels fantastic. You can see how much shallower it is now. This was, uh, I mean, it's down two feet. Whew. Yep. Right up top of that hill is the road, and we could save miles of walking. This was actually almost exactly where last night I thought, hey, this would be the fastest way down, but I looked and thought it was real steep. It's actually not as bad as I at first imagined. You just gotta get in it and go. I think we'll be glad we did this. Okay. We're pretty much committed at this point. <laughs> Alan, Alan would you got the right job today. He's got mountain crocs on, folks. <laughs> he got mountain river shoes on. I <laughs> love it. Look, folks, he's just trying to show off now. Definitely got left. Yeah. That little place where it looked like it tapered off. No, it didn't. The woods open right on up here. We may be inside of the road, folks. Way up off the river now. Oh, we're getting there. Back into the road, though. I think it's a little better. A lot less little obstacles and stickers. So I'm just doing natural switchbacks. Uh, wherever it makes sense to me. Just taking a clear path, a little bit of an angle. Turn the corner, take a clear path, like right through there. That looks great. Just going up the mountain. Sorry, the footage is shaky, but it's requiring all my hands. We've convinced ourselves this is better than the road because it's shaving off probably four miles of walking. But four, four miles of road walking might not, might not be too bad. But this is definitely more fun. I don't want to look at the phone because if I'm not close, I don't want to know. Just keep going. Whew, it's pretty steep. So I'm up here kind of scout hiking it passing back intel to the guys so that at least not all of us have to do extra work if one way doesn't work out real good we'll do this for a while then we'll switch up someone else will take the lead and pass back information oh that feels good I think I just found the road. Not 100% sure. Feeling pretty good about it, yo.
There it is, boys and girls. Happy camper right here. Oh, yeah. Whew. There she is. I got the road. Whew. That's steep. Oh, yeah. Let me go show you what we climbed up on this power line. So this was the closest point from where we were to the road we're on. As you can see, we're just over that knob. And uh, just a little bit ago, we were way down there. There's the mountain view. Pretty steep, basically straight up. But we cut off miles of walking, so bushwhacking's not always bad. Oh yeah. They give up. They've been blowing out all the way up. That was easy. <laughs> Look at these legs, folks. Look at these ugly legs. They're just all cut to pieces. Filthy. Sweaty. Broke down. Dirt dollar, I think he could go all day. I knew one. I knew one. Man. Look at this track. Is it like straight? Straight up. Yeah, folks. That's, that's getting it done, baby. <laughs> yeah, good times. Love it. Well, folks, uh, there's always a time for first in your life. And today, it's the first time I've scaled a mountain in a PFD. So you can never be too safe. 100% worth it. We got it. Good stuff. <laughs> I think Dirt Dauber and I are going to get the redneck ride down to the creek so we can wash up. We're pretty filthy. I don't want to get in Austin's new truck like this. How'd you like it? That was an adventure. It was an adventure. But it turned out good. Yeah, it turned out really good. Whoo, got his Garmin back. Tell me how you feel. I feel great. I feel great. I think I, it's I, been eating on you a little bit yeah, all week. Yeah, that if, you know, if it would have been bad enough, it would have been something that wouldn't give to me. Yeah. You know, for what it was. But oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, big, big relief. For sure. Big, big. We had to get that one back, folks. Oh, that looks cold. That looks cold. That feels good, actually. I guarantee it. Oh. That takes a little doing right there. Oh. I guess it's time. I guess it's time to man up. I just don't feel like I have as much experience with this as y'all do. <laughs> All right, folks. Here it goes. You just got to make it happen. <laughs> That's cold. Oh, 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 oh. Good for dirt dauber. Oh. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's brisk. That's brisk. But it does feel amazing. Just kind of rinse it all off. Oh, it feels so good. Now change, head back to Allen. Get us some ice cream and cut a track home. What do you say, fellas? Yes, sir. Don't even pretend. You had the easy job. Back in cast, got the trailer loaded up, everything in the back of the truck. We have Alan again. Alan was uh, entertaining the masses with uh, regaling them with stories of heroism from the week. Absolutely. And uh, now we're gonna try the cast company store and uh, we're actually going to go to Shay's restaurant as well. We figured we'd be doing you, the viewers at home, a disservice if we didn't eat at every restaurant in Cass. So, uh, as you would have it, here we go. Shay's restaurant next to the Cass Scenic Railway. They've actually, a uh, train just pulled in. Quite the hopping thing, people taking these train rides up to Durban. May have to come back with family and do that. It looks like fun. But for now, lunch. All right, folks, we had the world's best waitress, <laughs> Michaela, and she's bringing the food. We are ready. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this, folks. This is looking pretty good. Woo! A hamburger at Shay's. Mmm. Pretty good.
<laughs> Look at this, guys. That, that's a pile of ice cream as big as you are. Yeah, bud. I can handle it. The man loves his ice cream. This is the Victor ice cream we've been looking for. Cheers, boys. Fantastic trip. We got all the gear back. Couldn't have been any better. Woo, River Kings. <laughs> We loaded up and pulled out of cast for the last time. That Garmin was a gift to Dirt Dauber for 40 years of service to his fire department. It wasn't just a piece of electronics. It represented a part of who he was. It was a week that brought us everything. Ups and downs, good weather and bad. And I don't think any of us would change a thing. As we started making our way through the hill country, back towards home, we told stories and laughed. We thought about all the great memories we had made. There's nothing quite like a good group of friends on the best kayak camping river east of the Mississippi. Special thanks to Wes, to all the restaurants, the waitresses, and everyone else who helped out along the way. And special thanks to Proctor for always being a warm, friendly face in my home away from home. Thanks to Toby for the ride up to Wendy's and for pointing us in the direction of the Riverview Cafe. And special thanks to Justin for meeting us in Durban and driving our truck down to Hinton. We couldn't have done it without you. And thanks to all of you for tagging along on our incredible journey. But mostly, I want to thank all my friends that put their lives on hold and follow me down these rivers and make these trips so much fun. Having friends like these well, they can make a man feel like a king. As this trip comes to an end, I know more so now than ever. There will always be a part of me that feels most at home on the river. Mm -hmm.